Hey guys, I'm Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FPP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. So today I want to take a look at a couple of things with this little guy. We've done a video on this before. This is the Pico APRS, and uh, this is not the original antenna. I uh, swapped it out with a different antenna. So this, besides being an APRS machine, a beast, it's a TNC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, Digipeter, iGate, everything you can do with APRS, you can do with this guy. This also has another function that's really cool. It's an HT. Now, it's a half watt or one watt HT. So it's not exactly the most powerful beast in the world, but it is technically an HT. So two things I want to want to try today. We're going to put it on the spectrum analyzer first and take a quick look and see how clean it is and if there's any harmonics. So let's get started with that. All right, I've got it hooked up to the spectrum analyzer. We have our offset for our 30 dB attenuator set. So that's good. Our reference level is at 30 dB. Let me move a window around. Set to start at 140 megahertz. We're going to stop at 700. And our resolution bandwidth, we're going to crank that down to about 300. All right, perfect. So now let's key up. We also have our 16 point minus 16.02 dBm line. So we're transmitting on 146.52. And I'm going to key up. Let's see what it looks like. And there is our fundamental right here. And you can see we got nothing. It's clean all the way up to 700 megahertz. So it's highly unlikely there'd be anything past that. So that looks outstanding. Amazing in such a tiny radio that they can actually have filtering that doesn't uh, allow all the harmonic trash that you see on a lot of very budget HTs. All right. So now that we have done that, what I want to do is I'm going to get my Yesu FT5D and I'm going to take the Pico and transmit on it from another room and have a separate mic on the 5D so you can hear what it sounds like. And when I do that, I'll have my mic muted. So the only thing you're gonna hear is radio output. And then we're gonna swap the test. So the first thing I'm gonna do is transmit from the 5D and you'll hear the Pico. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is transmit from the Pico and you'll hear the 5D. So let me go get that set up and we'll do some more testing. Okay, so I've got this extra mic set up. This is on. I'm going to mute my mic and go into another room and key up on this guy, and we'll hear it on the 5D. You're listening through a mic, so your mileage may vary on how well this sounds either way, but let's give it a shot, okay? Let me kill my mic. And now the only mic on is the one by the radio, so I am going to step out of the room with this guy and key up. Okay, now I've swapped the radios out and we're going to transmit on the 5D and receive on the Pico. And the volume on the Pico is up all the way. The volume on the FT5D is about half. WT1W testing 1234. WT1W testing transmitting from the FT5D to the Pico APRS. Test 1234 WT1W. Okay, we completed our little test there. Let me turn off the extra mic. And I haven't even heard it yet, so I don't know how well it, uh, how well it worked or didn't work. I kind of tested it here, but I had a lot of feedback since they were both in, in the room with me. Anyway, there you go. That is the Pico APRS, a full-featured HT slash APRS beast. And this retails, I think, for about $3.99 online. I did a video on this um, a month or two ago. This is put out by Tanner Schinker, DB1NTO, and you can find this online, and I will put a link in the dingus below for that. And guys, that is all I have for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. 
and ring the bell in the doodly-doo below so you get notified whenever I post any new content. Thanks, y'all. 73.